Well, good morning, everyone. Joe Emeril here on location in Jerusalem. And today we are doing what I call a bit of a, a walk and talk video. And I'm just kind of walking through the streets of Jerusalem and just crossing some busy traffic lights here. I'll let you look around a little bit. Right, and the first stop on our walk and talk tour is this place here. This is called uh, Mamila. You can see that up there? Mamila Mall. It's a strip mall. And apparently it used to be pretty uh, run down back in the day and it was purchased and, and refurbished and made to be now probably the most expensive kind of strip mall in the country. Uh, when you come here in the fall, when we come for our tours, it gets quite busy. It's, uh, look, you can see here, my goodness, this is, this is empty. I mean, compared to what it usually is, there's not a lot of people here, but you can see the stores. Some of the stores uh, we haven't heard of, like, you know, here's Adidas, stores that we have back home. There's some local Israeli shops. Uh, there's a Rolex store. I haven't spent a lot of time in there, so. <laughs> Because Mamila is one of those cool places where uh, when you're on a tour, especially when you come out here in the evenings after dinner, um, okay, there's a couple of uh, female soldiers gonna walk past me here in a second. You just kind of see that here, it's no, no big deal. But this is great in the evening after you've had dinner at the hotel, a lot of people venture down here and they'll come down and they'll grab like a, like a nice cappuccino or espresso or something like that. And just walk through the different shops and kind of hang out and when we come in September the restaurants have little tables out and the old city is right in behind us this is a it's a bit of a it's a bit of a long a long walk the strip and we're gonna end today's video at a place called the Jaffa Gate which is the main entrance into the city in our next video we're gonna explore a bit of the Jaffa Gate here I'll show you a little side thing here this is where you walk there's all these little roads that take you back down to the main road and you have all this beautiful everything is Jerusalem stone here it's called uh, the streets are made with it uh, the shops the buildings again uh, in order to keep that antique that old world look everything is built in this Jerusalem stone so we're heading down like I said towards the uh, Jaffa Gate and we're gonna stop and end today right before we get to the main Jaffa Gate entrance a little shop where I like to go and uh, just have a little coffee and, and get to walk through the streets of Jerusalem. I consider it uh, a tremendous blessing to be able to, to do this. Jerusalem is, no matter what your background is, uh, religious or, or not, there's so much history uh, here in this city. No matter what your background is, uh, when you come here, you can just you can feel the antiquity. Even though we're on a very modern uh, day street now, you can just you can feel, you know, the thousands of years of history everywhere you look. There's something that reminds you of something that once was. Yeah, lots of stairs in Jerusalem because <laughs> you're going from the lower city to the upper city. This is quite common here. And so make sure you get your exercise in before you come because there is a lot of walking. So let's go down here just a little bit. And we're not going to go all the way because in the next video, I'm going to take you right up to the gates. But even from here, from a Mila Strip, you take any of these side little alleys and you go down the stairs down to the lower area. And then you'll get down here. We'll look to our left. And there we go. We have the old walls or the walls of the old city. And they kind of go all the way around. I'll give you a bit of a better view uh, in upcoming videos. So for now, we're going to head back up and continue on our little tour. All right, now I've given myself a couple of minutes to catch my breath. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of stairs here. <laughs> so 
So, okay, we're coming down now to the end of my Miller Street. Looking behind me, you can see there, we just, we walked quite, quite a ways. And we're coming up to one of my favorite places. This is called the Aroma Coffee Chain. So Aroma, it's the most well-known uh, coffee place in, in Israel. There it is there, the Aroma Espresso Bar. When I'm done this video, I'll pop in there. But Aroma is so popular that uh, when Starbucks tried to get going here, Aroma actually put it out of business. Well, because of our the Western way we do things, get a coffee, get in, get out, that's not Middle East culture. <laughs> when you get invited for a coffee, be prepared to spend at least an hour, maybe two, and just kind of talk things over. So before we end this and I go get my coffee, let me just give you a better view of the walls now. So here we are. Here's, here's Jerusalem. So there's the King David Hotel that I talked about in the last video. And from there, you kind of look out your windows and you're seeing this, the beauty that is the old city. So let's give you a quick little view here. So that's called the Tower of David. I'll explain a little bit about more in the next video. But this is Jerusalem. And so here we're going to end our first little, you know, kind of a walk and talk section. Uh, Mamila is a beautiful little strip mall, but more than the actual building, uh, come and just walk the streets and experience the people and the culture. And I think that when you do that, uh, you get to understand even why certain things are written in the Bible. Um, for those of us who live outside this land, who live in the West, you know, we operate in our own way. We do our own things. We say our own things. And it's our culture. It's what we know. But when you come here and you stay here, even just for like 10 days on a tour, and you get into, you get into that rhythm of the culture and you see how people behave, how they act, how they interact, then you begin to see, oh, why Jesus was a certain way with, with, with different kinds of people. And you just start to get a little bit of the culture. So I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a walking tour. And I would encourage you to, to join me on my next tour to Israel. Just go to joamaral.org and check out when the next tour is coming to Israel. There's nothing like coming to see it for yourself. So God willing, we'll see you here in Jerusalem.